I want to talk about PPP fraud. I want to talk about Joshua Bellamy. And Delaney, we've reported on this, and I want to circle back on it. And this is one of the frauds that I have a problem with, not because of, of um, the sentence, and he got uh, three years in jail for this fraud, but this is a gentleman who got caught up by a promoter. And this promoter went to him and said, I can get you $1.2 million free money. You're going to get a loan. The government is going to forgive it. All you need to do is sign some paperwork. And by the way, I get a cut of 25%. Now, the person who did, did this, uh, she orchestrated a large fraud with a number of individuals. And Delaney, I apologize. I don't have the facts here. Do you know offhand how, many, how much total fraud she did? I, I don't know. Um. So, you know, I don't know the full facts of the Yeah, but it was a lot. It was a big number. There were two people, I believe, even above her who were kind of the big ringleaders, but I believe including them, her, him, there was 25 people charged. Yeah, 25 people and millions and millions of of dollars. Now, I I don't want to minimize whatever what what Joshua did. He's a crime. uh, He's a criminal. and And he got an appropriate sentence. I don't want to minimize that, but when someone comes to you with something that is too good to be true, it's too good to be true. And so she said, all you need to do is fill it, is sign these forms that I will fill out for you. That Drip Entertainment, we, I don't know what Drip Entertainment is, if it's what type of entertainment it is, but he had 47 employees with an average monthly payroll of $498,000. Bellamy also represented the nature of the business operations to qualify for a larger amount of the loan, i.e. the $1.2 million. He was sentenced to 37 months in jail. And this is how he did the fraud. Bellamy was listed as both owner and the paid preparer. Dozens of other forms, the 941, which are the employment forms, submitted in this scheme evidence the same error. So here you have um, an error on the forms that the uh, SBA Inspector General and the feds quickly zeroed in on. There was a witness who admitted that these documents um, that share the feature because he misunderstood the form and he was following someone's instructions of how to do that. It was a, it was a copy and paste transaction. All four, the 941 is the quarterly form the, 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 the um, employer fills out to pay the payroll taxes. All four forms had the identical error and All four quarters were identical to the penny. Huge red flag. There was also evidence of a pattern of payroll spending that is likely false. Each of the quarters show a significant increase from the first to second to third month of the quarter. And then it repeated every quarter. There there was the same tax liability um, amount that was incurred, the same figures, et cetera, et cetera. So what did he do with the money? Well, he got the $1.2 million. He Hey, he was a good citizen to his co-conspirators. He gave her, and I'm correct with the pronoun, correct, Delaney? I am not 100% sure who. That's why I'm asking the question. I'm pretty sure. Okay, it was James Stote. That would be who it was. So he. Okay, I thought I thought there was a woman involved in putting this together. Um, and um, so he took the money and he purchased. Stop me if you've heard this before. Uh, jewelry, gambling junkets to the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, um, and um, a significant by spending the significant portion of personal expenses unrelated to the business operations. He had, I don't, he had, I believe, uh, he had. It, it was a legitimate company, but I think he only had one employee. Again. Uh, the, the, it was all fabricated. Joshua, he played in the NFL for um, um, eight years. He played for Kansas City, the Chargers, the Washington Redskins, when they were known as the Redskins, the Jets, and the Bears. So um, the, the, the takeaway on this is I don't want to minimize at all what he did, but he was presented with an opportunity that was too good to be true, and he took it. The secret, also what made it too good to be true, is is it was presented as free money. The government will forgive the loan. And Delaney, we've gone back into those things. And 
and there's emails that says, hey, you have to fill out these forms showing that you spent the money. So the, the falsified documentation was on two fronts. It was to get the money up front, and it was also then to apply for the loan forgiveness. Well, when SBA looked at this, anybody with common sense looked at this and looked at the um, underlying documentation, there were red flags that quickly unraveled the entire transaction. Oh, very good. Um, I, uh, Delaney, thank you so much for Fraud Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you next week.